my video about back exercises. I woke up with pain in my lower back for so many years I can't remember. Well over 20 years. And it's all gone now. And I think it was a series of back exercises I learned to do from the practice of Chen Tai Chi. The uh, important concepts for these back exercises is the concept of release. Now my hand, my arm, is relaxed. In other words, it's not tense, but it's not relaxed so much it collapses, it's just relaxed. But the shoulder is not released. A released shoulder looks like this. For a close-up of my shoulder, what I mean by release, the arm's relaxed, there's no tension, except enough to hold it up so it's not collapsed, but the shoulder's not released. And if you look closely here, this is a release. The shoulder opens, the joint extends, and stretches out, it releases forward. I get, oh, three inches. Extended length at my fingertips. That's a release. That's what you try and uh, work for in the exercises. First exercise, uh, sometimes called wiggle like a worm, is a shoulder shrug, like this. But now exaggerate the movements through your body and torso, not just the shoulders. Stick your chest out, stick your stomach out, stick the groin out. Punch your shoulders and push the small of your back out, center back and shoulders. So you're making a wave-like motion through your body. You go up in the front, down in the back, with a big shoulder shrug, or back the other way, out in front. Down, up in the back, and shorten the shoulders the other way. This is a loosening exercise, and it also helps you find the different parts of your back, identify them, push up quite strongly, and feel it roll up with your shoulders. The second exercise is a stretch through the three main parts of the back. The first part is you put your hands together and release out towards the elbows. Not a strain, just a release until your back is fully stretched across the shoulders. Then stretch the chest and let the back close by reaching back like this, put your hands together and release into the shoulders again. That should create a nice stretch, nice rounded back through the shoulder area, and then expand the chest. The Chinese consider this area through the diaphragm to be a hinge. So the next one, for the center back and the center hinge here, you put your hands a bit lower, but you still do it the same way. You release into the elbows from the center back, pushing down gently, releasing, not straining, into the elbows. And then once this is nice and stretched, lay it right back. And try and bend from here, not your waist. Stretch it again. Do each of these three times. Don't rush. Take your time. Let the release happen. Feel for it. Go a bit farther each time. Like that. 
And the third one, for the lower back, you stretch it out by pushing strongly out here and closing your elbows together. Here, feel the release up into the elbows this way. And when you want to relax the back, sway the back in, protrude the stomach and pull the shoulders back. This will help you find, identify, and feel the different areas of the back, high, middle, and low, and help you activate them. And the third simple exercise is a release of the whole back sequentially from top to bottom. You raise your arms up, you release into the fingertips from the shoulders, and gradually stretch and release out without strain until you're fully extended. Relax, wait a minute, don't let your shoulders rise up, keep down into your elbows, into your fingers, until you feel it's finished. The stretch on this comes from the spine. Push the spine out, push the fingers forward, and release. Release forward, and hold that position. Once you hold that for four or five seconds, whatever feels comfortable. Try and feel the muscle below the shoulder blades. Just at the bottom tip of the shoulder blades, release. And push out there into the fingers. Adjust the shoulders so they don't come up. Now move it down to the center of the back. Adjust the arms and shoulders, releasing forward. Now the lower part of the center of the back, concentrate on that part, feel it, release it, push the spine out, adjust the shoulders, now we're into the upper part of the lower back, and still releasing forward into the fingers. Now down, down into the full lower back, adjust the shoulders so you're still releasing, and down into the total bottom area, as low as you can go. And relax and come up, and that should be done twice. Because the second time you do it, the first time, your muscles don't want to do it, they're tight, and they, they hold you back. The second time they say, oh, I've done this before. I'll let it go, and you can go farther uh, uh, with better effect. Once you've got an idea of how to do this and what it feels like, you get down in the bottom of your back, you can ripple it up into your fingers. Then ripple it back down, keeping your fingers out, do one side, and then the other side of your back, and play with it, and wake that back up, and stretch it out. And uh, there you go, that's it, that's all it took. And I swear, those uh, three exercises have uh, totally fixed my back.